CSH at the Classic Kid. JM, what's the one song you've always wanted to cover but haven't had a chance yet to either play and or record? Ooh, um, let's see. <laughs> well, you know, I always want to do a Pink Floyd cover. <laughs> like, um, I guess we did, we played Symbol on a long, long time ago, but like, um, uh, I've always wanted to have a, be in a band that could do like a super awesome, scary, careful with that X Eugene, or like you know a full-on proper like Shine on You Crazy Diamond parts one through five would be amazing. Though I think it would kind of probably the remaining members of that band have to have to die before we can do that, just by rules of sort of cover etiquette. The cover etiquette, yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all the questions. No. Oh, what's? Uh, oh no, <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, that's that's uh, well, yeah, that 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 song. I mean, there's one that we're going to be doing. Well, no, um, no, I can't no, tell you about can't that. Can't no. say it. No. no. Um, D. Anise at Asian Splenda. Um, <laughs> she's funny. One uh, A. Who would your dream band to be to tour with as their opener? And one B. Who would your dream musician or band be to tour with as a headliner? Oh, I see. Like, who would want to open open for me? And then well, who would I like to open for? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, to tour with... Do they have to be alive? There is like no... Like, it has to be possible? Well, there's no specification, so you can, you can pick a, a non-living, zombified... <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is that, that you, you think about... When I think about that, like, I want to I wanna choose a band that's, like... That's like awesome, but not so awesome that I'd be embarrassed to to open for them. You know, like I'd just be like Pangea era Miles Davis. You know, like yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like you don't like <laughs> I would not I would not feel very good about that. I'd just be like, why am I here? Um, you know, I, I think Phil Elvrum is just unbelievably great. Uh, I think he's a national treasure, and I would love, 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 love to open for him anytime um, or be you know or play with him like put a band together for him I just like he's just an absolute um, hero of mine so he'd definitely be one um, but I'd open for him um, as far as uh, bands that I'd want to open for or sorry bands as far as bands that uh would want to open for us, for me. I've been really lucky. I mean, I've gotten to play with a lot of great bands. Um, on our last tour, Cross Record was a, a super awesome opening band. It was hard to imagine a, a better fit for us, like personally and musically, for that tour. I agree. And. I mean, if you got nothing. Gosh, I mean, it's hard to say like, who you want to open for you. That's kind of. Um, honestly, I, I I don't want anybody to have to open for anybody. It's such a <laughs> it's such a raw deal, uh, in some ways. I mean, usually opening bands are not paid very well, and and it's they don't get a long sound check or, or even a short one sometimes. Um, it's it's just it's the way that, you know, it's the way the business works. But it's it's a pretty crummy thing to do so when we're when we're working with people who are opening for us I try to do the best I can to make it not a miserable experience for them um, 